Hi, it's John. Now, I did the video where I said I didn't think any animals could draw, and somebody sent me a link to um, elephants drawing themselves, and palm trees, and even writing their name. And I was absolutely amazed. I had no idea. <laughs> um, and then you watch it, and you, and you see what's happened. Um, you know, they've obviously been trained. Uh, and, and and they've been trained to to uh, draw these specific things. Now, whether they had lines on the page in pencil, faint, faint pencil to follow, I'm not sure, or whether they had memorised memorised the memorized the, uh, um, the picture. Again, I'm not sure, but it, it appeared that they were doing it exceedingly systematically. You know, they say an elephant has a very good memory, and I mean this certainly showed that it did. You know, it was doing the underbelly sort of twice, you know, to uh, to make it darker. I'll put a link on the video anyway. And there's quite a few um, uh, elephant drawing videos. And and the, the pictures they make are quite cheap. They're only about $15. I'd rather like them. That one is a bit of a novelty. Um, so, it, but it set me thinking about about the brain. I've got this theory that the uh, the human brain has all the elements of creation's brains in it. So we've got we haven't got one brain, but we've got seven brains. So when David Icke says we're um, what does he call us dinosaurs, Neanderthals? He, um, I can't remember what it is that David Icke calls us, but he calls he calls certain people certain things. I would say yeah, we are because we've got all that. Um, and then of course different people favour different parts of the brain. And if you think of uh, what it is that makes humans uniquely human above the animal uh, brain, um, obviously the animal brain has got the, the sort of behavioural part, you know, where you perform for reward. You know, that's how you make dogs do what you want. It's how you make elephants paint, uh, how you make... Um, Th things do, do, you know, dogs dance on the stage and that sort of thing. Uh, so y y you do something and you receive a reward, um, but you don't exactly d do the thing out of your own creativity. So the creativity is obviously the uniquely human thing. Now, there are certain activities that I do, um, at the moment it's driving. So if uh, I can drive for about an hour and a half, and the first hour and a half of, of driving, I really, I don't need the radio on, I don't need anything on, I, could, I can just I could be happy with my own thoughts, and it seems to release my creativity, creative thoughts. Um, you know, the, the, the normal parts of the brain are taken up with the, um, with the driving, and... Uh, uh, and this, the, the, and the rest of the brain seems to somehow synthesise it, sort of it releases it to to, to sort of have free thought, uh, which I find very difficult on other occasions. Um, and, and this must be the part of the brain which, which is uniquely human. Um, I, I, I've been, I'm very keen on orangutans. I haven't, I haven't seen one for years, but uh, I think they're the closest thing to a human. The orangutan or the uh, chimpanzee and there, there are videos on, on YouTube about um, chimpanzees doing mathematical problems uh, and they, they can do them in a split second uh, far quicker than a human um, so in some senses the human brain is inferior to, uh, to the monkey brain right bye for now Well, I better show it, show you our black-eyed Susan plant in the conservatory that Helen's grown from seed. And this is a nice plant for a conservatory because uh, I always call it the butterfly plant. Got the first tomato is a tumbler tomato. Don't know where it's going to go. It hasn't really got any shoots left. Right, bye again.